Welcome back to Split Hour Farm. Today, our project is going to be putting in some Tuja Green Giants. What that's gonna do is provide us a privacy screen in a, in a few years, because we did get the small version. However, uh, it's gonna look great. And what we're gonna do is a spacing of side by side. You can do like a triangle spacing. However, we're just gonna do the side by side planting. For the side by side, you wanna do five feet apart. Um, the Tuja Green Giant is gonna be five to eight feet wide in growth and then 20 to 30 feet high. So by putting them five feet uh, apart, they're gonna grow into each other. And it's gonna be a great privacy screen and hopefully block uh, the rooster's uh, sound from everyone else. For our planting today, we have these Thuja one foot high green giants. And the reason that we got these is one, it is deer resistant, which in where we live is really important because the deer will eat any and everything. And we're gonna actually be putting some fencing around them to prohibit anyone from gnawing on them when they are kind of small. And then what's really great is as they start to mature, they will grow around two to three feet per year, which is one of the fastest growing trees. And what we really love as well is not only will they provide privacy in the summer, but also through the winter because they are a hardier evergreen type tree. Pretty much grows anywhere and uh, not too hard to take care of. So should be good long term for us. Yeah. So I'll put a link down of where we got these below, but we ordered around 70 of them so we can fill up our full line where you'll see in a bit, we have cleared out a lot of funky stuff. And we're going to start off with marking the ground, making sure we're getting a nice straight line and then separating these out five feet apart. So we're going to go ahead and spray paint the ground yeah. and start digging. So as you can see behind me, uh, we've worked on clearing out all the brush that was that and is now uh, able to be planted in. So we've pulled up all the um, weeds and the ivy and now we're ready to start digging and then turning this back into usable area. So when you're planting trees of any kind, you're going to want to dig a hole that is twice as wide as the bulb of the bottom, but just as deep. For this case, we're gonna not have to dig too much because they're only one foot, but uh, still gonna be a lot, of, a lot of holes to dig. Next step is we're gonna put the trees in the holes, fill the dirt, and then put up the fence the makeshift fence. So while Danielle is planting and filling the holes, I'm gonna take the T-posts and drill them in in a line along the edge of the front and back of this 150 foot stretch. Uh, we're going to then put using the T-post staples, our cattle wire, it's four foot tall, and uh, that'll help to prevent the deer from getting to it, even though these should be deer resistant. Um, deer resistant isn't deer proof though, so better safe than sorry, so we can keep these trees uh, growing throughout the years. So let's get to it. So instead of individually wrapping the trees because they're five foot um, apart and pretty much you'd just be wasting material, uh, we're gonna go around the entire edge. And if you need a simple tip um, for moving this around by yourself, take an old piece of metal and bend it and stick it through because then you can just pick it up and roll it. And then you can keep pressure on it while it tightens around the edges. So, now I can go back over there, spin this in, and now I can tighten that. So it's gonna be, if you look over there, that looks like a nice uh, tight edge. So. 
It is now the next day. And to recap, all we did here was really create a straight line, spray painted each step of where we wanted to plant each tree, which is anywhere from four to six feet. We did five feet in between each of them. And then to help protect them, we put fencing around them. We used a four foot fencing, although you can go ahead and do something a little bit different depending on your area. And if you do have a lot of animals that might come and eat them. After you do this, then you are gonna to wanna to go ahead and mulch around each tree. This way it's just going to keep it safe within the ground, nice and warm. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure to water your trees on a regular basis. After they've started to root into the soil, then they're gonna to continue to grow at around two to three feet per year. And you're gonna be the owners of some happy trees and a great privacy barrier between you and any of your neighbors. If you are interested in propagating your own green giants, we have a video on how to do that that I'm going to add here. And we'll see you guys again next time. Bye.